Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of Word Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. That be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say, y'all, shalom to you, I came out there. And this is another news article in the news on this uh, <coughs> June the 10th, 2022, at 1.05 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Friday afternoon. And this is an article from RT.com. And it was uh, posted June the 10th, 2022, uh, RT.com Business News. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads, U.S. inflation accelerates to a 40-year high. A rising gasoline, food, and shelter costs drove most of the increased data shows. The U.S. inflation hit the highest level since 1981 in May. The U.S. Labor Department data shows on Friday consumer prices soared 8.6 in May from 12 months earlier faster than April year over year, surging of 8.3%. On a month basis, prices grew about 1% from April to May. A step arose from the 0.3 increase from March to April. The surging food, gasoline, and rent prices have been opposing several pressure on American families. And it says research by the Bank of America Institute shows the petrol price were eating up a large share of consumers' budgets for lower-income household spending on gasoline reaches nearly 10% of all the expense on credit and debit cards in the last week of May. The Institute said in a report this week that was up from 7.5% in May. <clears throat> Meanwhile, prices are pumped are average near $5 a gallon nationally and edging closer to the inflation adjust record of about five dollars and forty cent reached in two thousand eight. Economics economists cited by the Associated Press expecting inflation to ease this year, though not by very much. Some of them have forecast the consumer price index drop below seven percent by the year's end. And the I believe the uh, DAS, the uh, Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 um, is uh, shrinking again, you know, because I did a report yesterday on this in regards to this, of uh, I believe they was waiting on the results of the inflation. Now the uh, inflation is highest since the 40 years, I guess the report has came out. And that's why the uh, the uh, stocks are crashing once again, especially with the uh, gas prices, the gasoline, the food prices, and the costs of the data shows of cost of living is constantly, consistently going up. Now we at an all-time high with the uh, hyperinflation rose up a lot. So yeah, it's gonna increase more and more and more these last days, you know. Especially uh, modern day Babylon, you know, like the scripture says, uh, Babylon is falling, it is falling, and we are definitely seeing that on an everyday basis, you know, with the economy slowing down, even though people are getting more hired, even more than ever. But you know, with the cost of living and you know, the gas prices constantly, consistently going up, and the sales taxes in the housing market and many more other things especially you know it affect the people that's uh <clears throat> the lower you know the lower income people that works these two or three i say they work like these uh 
full-time jobs or they had like two or three jobs that they work because you know they gotta be able to uh, pay rent and uh the cost of living constantly consistently going up and the food prices and the gas prices you know because everything is constantly consistently going up even though they got good jobs they work in two or three jobs but they gotta balance to maintain their livelihood you know because everything so much is going up so you know spent the, with the hyperinflation at an all-time high and the cost of living as well too you know and i'm gonna bring out scripture and relates to uh, modern day babylon is definitely falling this is usually scripture that i always bring out and relates to this when it comes to the economy it says Revelations 18 and 2, and he cried with a mighty strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, and is fallen, and has become a habitation of devils, a habitation of ultimate deceivers throughout the planet Earth, and here in Babylon, from the inner circle to the outer circle, globally around the world as well, too, and especially economically, and the whole of every foul spirit and encage of unclean for hateful bird. Right, because we constantly consistently seen the uh, downfall of Babylon on an uh, economic standpoint and it's gonna further decrease more and more by the day you know and this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 9 and this is the last scripture to close it out uh, we would have healed Babylon but she is not healed forsake her and let us go everyone into their own country for her judgment Reacheth unto the heavens and it lifted up even to the sky, right? Because the iniquities of modern day Babylon is catching up with her, you know. Because the daughter of Babylon exceedingly of wickedness and it wishes up to the heavens and the skies, you know. With the alphabet lifestyle, the uh, the unrighteous decree laws and stuff like that. So it's, it's really backfiring of the daughter of Babylon in many other different categories and relates to. Uh, unrighteousness and iniquity and iniquities increasing you know and many other different things as well too but this particular situation right here is relates to the uh the, the downfall economic wise of modern day babylon you know because it's constantly consistently falling as we see it right before our eyes you know so with that i hope this uh in the news lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii Alshai. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out one in the ball, ball.